this is Man United Inside again on it, welcome back. Please subscribe for more updates news from Inside United. How Manchester United should line up vs Bayern Munich in must-win Champions League fixture, it's simple. Manchester United must beat Bayern Munich to have any hope of remaining in the Champions League and even then, it might not be enough. United are rooted to the bottom of Group A after three defeats in five matches, though they must defeat table toppers Bayern and hope Copenhagen and Galatasaray draw in the other match. In terms of early team news, Victor Lindelof could return after he came off at half-time in the win against Chelsea last week and was unavailable for the 3-0 home humbling by Bournemouth. Anthony Marshall and Marcus Rashford both missed training on Monday. Samuel Luckhurst, Raphael Varane is a four-time Champions League winner and United need his expertise on a night as pivotal as this one. Aaron W.A.N. Basaka merits a recall after Diogo Dallo's blunt attack in play of late. Dallo also struggled against Bayern's wingers in Munich. Rasmus Hodgland had to be a certain starter. Even if Anthony Marshall was well. Midfield-wise, United run the risk of leaving themselves too open against Bayern if they go without an outright defensive midfielder but Sofian Amrabat could not shield the defence so United might as well recall Kobe Mainu. Tyrone Marshall, Ten Hag has put some of United's inconsistencies this season down to not being able to pick a settled 11, so this is a chance to change that. The back four can stay the same for starters. Regailan was good against Chelsea and less good against Bournemouth, but he offers an attacking threat badly needed. Varane should start, but it's reached the point of being pointless to even put him in this team as we know he won't start. Amrabat's experience trumps Manu's youthfulness in this game, with the latter an option off the bench if United need to up the ante in the second half. McTominay and Fernandes are undroppable at the minute. Hodgland looks like being the only fit striker, so it's a good job he has done well. In the Champions League this season, Anthony and Garnacho have to start on the wings. Rich Fay, United need their four best defenders to subdue one of the best strikers and Varane's return to the side is long overdue. W.A. Mbasaka is the better right-back and Short should return to his best position. There is not much choice in midfield, so Amrabat keeps his place and McTominay remains the most consistent performer there in recent weeks. Anthony has quietly gone about his business in recent weeks and Rashford needs to return to the side with a point to prove. Hodgland has been brilliant in Europe and has to lead the line. Coaches quip and celebrations, Manchester United did not look like a crisis club ahead of Bayern Munich tie. The ominous omen for Manchester United is the only occasion they have beaten Bayern Munich aside from the utopia of Barcelona 99. They also departed the Champions League. One swing of Arjen Robben's boot leveled the aggregate scoreline and gave Bayern a second away goal. Louis van Gaal's and fancied side progressed to the 2010 semi-finals as Sir Alex Ferguson bemoaned the typical Germans who demanded Rafael D.A. Silva's game-changing expulsion. United could beat Bayern at Old Trafford again and still trudge off knowing they will not hear the Champions League anthem reverberate again this season. Ending Bayern's 39-match unbeaten run in the Champions League group stage would assure United of participation in Europe beyond Christmas, only they could be subjected to the purgatory of a Europa League playoff in February. That is not an anthem to entice supporters to M16 for A. Midweek Nocturnal Tie United players were in a buoyant mood during the open section of their training session on Tuesday. It is the closest us dedicated correspondents have been to a ball-related United session since Eric Ten Hag's first pre-season destination in Bangkok. The squad conducted a pressing exercise with the squad split into three squads. The enthusiastic Steve McLaren kept a tally of the passes, Eric Ramsey kept score and the live Darren Fletcher joined in. The non-bibs prevailed and held a celebratory huddle. A smiling Eric Ten had watched on as he delegated Mitchell van der Gag to oversee the drill. As van der Gag was putting out the cones, he called out to the communications director Andrew Ward. Andrew, is everyone in today? Cue laughter. Van der Gag was asked if he would take exception to members of the band United being granted entry. Fine by me, he quipped. The Bonhomie did not show a club mired in another crisis. A cynic would suggest the proximity of the players to the press was for show amid dissenting dressing room voices. Marcus Rashford and Anthony Marshall were absent through illness. 
barely two hours earlier, Scott McTominay held court with Ten Hag in the upper floor of the main building. We have had many amazing players over the time and I feel like now we are at a stage we have big characters in the dressing room. It's not just a case like with some of the other managers where it's been a little bit toxic at times. The boys are firmly behind the manager. That's the be-all and end-all and the way it will remain to stay. McTominay had not done an in-person pre-match media engagement since Linz in March 2020. One United player withdrew from a planned pre-match appearance for the reverse game against Bayern but McTominay was a bullish presence to accompany his manager in the crammed room. The academy graduate ended himself to Jose Mourinho, became pivotal under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, a regular for Ralf Rangnick and is now indispensable for Ten Hag. For a player deemed sellable in the summer and accused of not running against Bayern in September, McTominay is an early and unlikely frontrunner for the Sir Matt Busby statue. As you can see, in the Premier League every team is super athletic, he noted. You go and play in the Champions League and every can run. For us, a lot of the time we need to match that and more whenever you play for this club. That's been a clear message for all of us on the pitch who are playing that we need to get together sometimes. The manager can't do too much from the sidelines, it needs to come from the players. A throng greeted the Bayern players at the Hyatt Hotel on Monday afternoon. Bayern have already planned a post-match reception at the Kimpton Clock Tower Hotel on Tuesday evening. Van Gaal, red wine in hand, toasted their victory in defeat nearly 14 years ago at the Marriott Worsley Park. Ten Hag prefers to train at Carrington on the eve of European away ties. Bayern instead reacquainted themselves with Old Trafford almost a decade on from their last visit. Harry Kane graced Old Trafford nine times for Tottenham and helped inflict the joint worst Old Trafford defeat on United in the Premier League era with the 6-1 humbling in October 2020. For United, the club where anything that can go wrong will go wrong, they are primed to be ejected from the competition by the striker they steered clear of. Every fan would wish to have Harry Kane in their team, Bayern coach Thomas Tuchel purred. Tuchel has paced the Old Trafford touchline four times with Paris Saint-Germain and Chelsea. Briefly regarded as a credible but unattainable successor to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Tuchel is well placed to identify a dysfunctional club from the inside and outside, having been sacked by Chelsea seven games into the chaotic Clear Lake Capital era. I sympathize with all of my colleagues, Tuchel said with a knowing smile. Sometimes it's difficult and challenging. I know what it's like to manage big clubs. Sometimes you feel that a club is not developing as quickly as you would like. We'll have to muster a lot of energy tomorrow to succeed here. I'm convinced that United want to and will fight back. They are always a dangerous team. They have a very specific aura. It is part of the club's DNA that they can overcome difficult moments. The stadium creates special moments. It will be a big challenge for us, 